Hi, welcome back. My name is Almanette, and today we're going to be using the Jeffree Star Liquid Shadow. I got three of them, but the other two are matte, and I didn't realize that they were going to be matte. I only wanted the shimmer. He did come out with more shimmers, but they're darker tone. I think this is the only one that really pops out of all of them and I wanted to use the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette just because the newest one that he came out with it is more darker tones and the Jawbreaker has more of a lighter tones so but they're still both very vibrant colors so let's get started I'm gonna use I wanted to do more like a pink purple blue I look so we're gonna start with pink all over the lid bubblegum <laughs> I like the name of it I love bubblegum <laughs> and we're just gonna like pat pat all over the lid and blend this is gonna be a mega colorful I look we're only gonna do one more I want it to be colorful vibrant color so all over the lid going back again doing the same thing I like the color pink a lot I'm gonna go one more time all over the lid as you could tell i'm just doing freely not much control well yeah control because you only want in the lid you don't want it all over your face and then i get the same thing okay i think i'm gonna switch brush and I'm gonna go with the purple one, Gumdrop. And we're just gonna put it in the corner here. And blend down. I do wanna add blue, but I want everything to look blended before I add the darker blue and it's this I like is gonna be so easy because we're gonna add blue in the corner and then we're gonna add the liquid eyeshadow and I think that will complete the look it looks super easy it's just a lot of blending because you want it to look nice and blended you don't want to have sharp edges okay let's do the other one the same thing we're just gonna add it in the corner pat pat blend blend and the more you blend the better <laughs> It is a process. Okay, I think I'm going to go back and get more color. And the reason I switch brushes just because I could go back and blend everything together with the same brush that I use on the colors. Okay, 
I think I have to add more on this. Yeah, because the other one I think is more. I added more color, I think, because it was the first. I do want to add more purple and I will go back with the pink and as you notice it's just adding colors the light work always with the lightest color and then darker I have noticed that And then with the pink, not even grabbing more, you could just blend it, you see? And then even grab more. Okay. I'm gonna go a bit more, just a bit more, just cause I do wanna. You could stop whenever you think it's just enough color. I just really wanted to cover it. Pa, pa, pa. That's how you make sure the color stays there. Yeah. Just add more the other side. Pa, pa, pa. Okay, they both look. Now let's go with the blue one which is soaked. Let's see how this is gonna turn out. I'm just gonna put it in the corner and I did get a different brush. And I'm gonna pass first. Yeah, I like how that, like, I did get more, but I have enough of my brush. I just, pa, pa, pa. And I won't be able to blend it. I'm just patting. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it with the same brush, but not too high. I might help the purple one. Okay. I like how it's coming out. Let's do the other eye. So we're gonna pat, pat, pat in the corner. I still say pat. I like how they both look so pretty, those two colors, the purple and the blue. The blue really helps it a lot. The purple makes it even pop more. I am blending it a bit. I'm adding delicious underneath the eye. Oh, I hear my waterline. And it's, it, it looks black to me. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. But it's like a really, really dark blue. But in my skin tone, it looks black. I 
wanted to add okay let's add the liquid one let me see if I can add it and you can see it's so pretty look at that so pretty okay let's add it I think they look good coming together Okay, then I'm gonna close my eye. Well, I'm not gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna like see where it curves because usually, like, it's like right here. Okay, I am back, and the liquid eyeshadow was tricky. Let me tell you to use just because I had to let it dry, and then if I didn't give it enough time to dry, when I will blend it, it will peel off. So that was very tricky. Um, I do have black eyeliner and with the purple, with the purple um, eyeshadow brush that we use to blend in the crease, I use it for underneath my eye just to give it more blend. I did add a bit more blue in the corner just because like I was saying, I was having trouble with this stain. I had to keep my eyes open <laughs> for it to completely dry. And I wasn't able to, um, if I would blend it, it would just be a hot mess. So I do love the eye look, how it came out. It came out so pretty, so pretty. That, that was literally what I was going for. It was just a lot of blending and then you have to be very patient. When you add this you have to wait until it dries until you decide to blend or add more color but i love how it turned out let me know what you think i really love it <laughs> this color i don't know if i'm going to use the two others because they're matte and blending it kind of just peeled off so i don't even want to try to be honest with you but hope you enjoyed this video bye